these quarterly earnings right. may freak them out and not build anything. Dang. But let's start with some one really interesting one back at Magic Kingdom. Could be controversial, could be quizzical, could be whatever. I don't know what you guys think, but we're talking about the Cars attractions that are supposed to be placed in Ooh. Frontierland. So we'll call this one Cars Attraction Number One because there really wasn't a name for it. But in this particular attraction, right. this is more of a thrilling ride. It will be an off-road thrilling rally race through the mountains. Dizzy Parks wrote that you'll be able to, and I quote, take on wild terrain as you race across the landscape, climbing mountain trails, dodging geysers, and Mater's favorite, splashing through mud holes. Hey, hey! <laughs> so that's mm. the, I guess, e-ticket, so to speak, attraction that's slated to come to Frontierland as Cars Attraction number one. What do we feel about that? Does Does anybody else think this might be a re-theme of Big Thunder? No. No, oh. I, I, I they're going to use that Radiator Springs Racers ride to, uh, system. That's what I was thinking. just by looking at pictures and the stuff. It's like mm. they they have that ride system already ready to go. They just duplicate it, ship it off to Florida. So they got to place this somewhere. I don't think they're going to take over Big Thunder. Yeah, I don't think they're going to take over Big Thunder. I didn't get the impression it was a clone of Radiator Springs Racers. I thought it was more. They were like your off-road kind of thing. I, I can't remember how they. they well, it's the same it. ride system, but you can so just make it bumpy like. Oh, Raider Springs races like they did when they added test track all those bumps and stuff. Okay, so it definitely is. You, you okay? I if I if I was a get betting man, I would bet they're going to use the exact same track layout. Maybe they flip it like mm-hmm. they did with Big Thunder, but they can still produce that pretty easily because the plans already made. They don't have to develop it. Okay. Then they just kind of make the theming, make maybe throw some more off road bumps, some dirt cannons and stuff or mud just to kind of simulate going through stuff and that's your stuff you know? in the background maybe. yeah because i remember it was one of the cars movies i think it was the second one they did like an off-road they had that off-road rally car from like japan which i thought was cool he was just zipping through the track mm-hmm. bouncing <laughs> and stuff so i'm hoping there's gonna be some bouncing like you win those rally ra- rally races which is like nuts you know we're gonna be like 62 by the time this comes out right? <laughs> so i don't know how much we can take but okay it's true it's definitely not a retheming, I don't think, at least, of Big Thunder because the quote, I don't have the quote in front of me, but Josh Tomorrow said something specific about Frontierland, that it's really all about the American West. I got it right so here. to right. me, oh, you have the quote. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, it struck me the exact same way, so I made sure to copy it down because this is their explanation mm-hmm. for the bastardization of Frontierland. Yeah. The American West has always been about keeping your eyes on the horizon, believing in yourself, carving your own path, and striving towards success. That goes for miners in the mountains, bears from the country, a princess from the bayou, or a race car from the big city. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple things in that. First of all, yuck. But yeah, second, very much. Um, to me, it says that Big Thunder is staying because mm-hmm. they, he specifically put miners in the mountains right. in the quote. But you know what else struck me? Do you all consider yourselves a Western state? Not a no. Not in the least. No. <laughs> not in the least. Because no. I was like, boy, I would not consider New Orleans West. No. I mean, it's west oh. of New Hampshire, but that's pretty easy. I mean, if, you know, <laughs> if you're thinking oh. like archaic terms, maybe west of the Mississippi. But that's about it. Even still, I don't feel like we're the West West. No, we're not the West. We need to go back and listen to our show a few, a few um, months ago talking about Tiana because I brought up this exact same argument that Rachel's bringing up. And she said, no, no, that's no, y'all, y'all the Western state because y'all Western Mississippi. Wow, Kirk. I, okay. Kirk's <laughs> got receipts, Rachel. I, I brought up that exact same argument saying, uh, in our collective uh, thoughts and everything, we think of frontier land, we think of the Wild West. And I said, they're thinking of the West as West of the Mississippi. And Rachel's like, well, technically, yeah, yeah, it would be uh, West of the Mississippi. Yeah, it would be a frontier land. So it fits. Okay, no problem. Is that your Rachel impression? <laughs> I'm sorry, That's Rachel. Not I mean, to, I, let me make fun of your voice. No, That's the first no, it's okay. Sorry. No um, I can Listen, I can imagine I said that. I just thought they were going to retheme this land entirely. Yeah. And so I think I was maybe like a little optimistic about like, well, you know, it, it doesn't fit great right now, but I can sort of see the argument. And then in my head, I'm like, but they're really going to retheme the whole thing. And now that I know they're not, I'm like, okay, no, that's dumb. Yeah. Like, I thought they were going to have a plan. Like it, that's not a plan. But yeah, I hear you. I don't think New Orleans is west. I, but it it was like the beginning of a lot of the trails west during Western movement in United States history. Like a lot of the trails began in New Orleans or in that area. But 
No, that makes sense. Yeah, but yeah. A big it's not a city, western yeah. state. Yeah, I mean, well, if you think about it, yeah. like, St. Louis has that gateway arch, which is the gateway to the west, mm-hmm. which is a little just yeah, a little bit west yes. of us. If you're looking at it on a map, right. more or less, more north, but just a touch less. So we're on that border. We're a border city <laughs> to the west. I think this worked a lot better when we saw the old concept art, and you saw Coco and Encanto, and it was kind of all right. Frontierland is now going to be reimagined as going more southern, like uh, southern Mexico kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. And- we thought New Orleans Square was going to come to right, right, and for whatever reason they just decided no, and so now they've messed up Frontierland and they've messed up Animal Kingdom thematically. Now it's not to say these both of these locations can't be great. I'm just saying thematically neither one of them really fit. They Seems have a tangential damn. relationship to the theming of the land at best mm-hmm. that they're trying to force to happen, and this statement is is awful. It really is awful. The American West has always been about bears from the country or princes from the just just say this is all about IP. The American West has always been about keeping your eyes to the horizon, believing in yourself and IP. I always thought it was about yeah. gold and territory. I did. No, no, no. You were mistaken. Yeah. You like cartoon cars. Oh, the American know. West has always been about okay. those things. You just well, as long as we can squeeze IP into them. Yes. Squeeze IP. That aside, <laughs> I'm really excited for the rides. I think Cars is a great IP for kids and families. My kids love cars. Like I, we love cars, so I'm excited that it's coming. I just don't. I feel like the theming is so weak, but yeah. the the rides sound great. Well, just to uh, interrupt real quick, Rachel. Since you said rides, I just I didn't mention it yet, but there is a second cars attraction that's supposed to be more family yeah. friendly and geared more toward kids. So you're gonna have the e ticket, and then you're gonna have some kind of like b ticket and stuff, something like tame spin yeah, ride, like maybe a yeah, that's what you're saying. Like, yeah, I was gonna say it's or like Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters is sure. So fun. Oh yeah, yep, uh, yeah that yeah. could be cool. I want a tractor tipping. Like, give me a ride yeah. like that. And there's probably gonna be a height requirement on the e ticket. You know, like Test Track has a small height requirement. So it's always nice to have like a family attraction outside some of those. Like we spent so many mornings where my daughter wanted to ride the Incredicoaster at California Adventure over and over and over again. And so I was so thankful for that Woody's Roundup carousel because I would take my son over to that and we would just have fun right there. So it's nice to have those. Yeah. Now, does all of this take the place of that Beyond Big Thunder we heard last year? Yeah. Or that's still on the table? Yes. I mean, where else do you put it? Yeah, this is part so, of that. Uh, right, that is, like, I brought up the idea that maybe they're going to trash Tom Sawyer Island no, that's, for this. That has enough real estate to cover a, a Radiator Springs Racer type ride. That's what the rumor is right now. Yeah, it's yeah. that you're going to go beyond Big Thunder Mountain plus with the villain's land taking over the other. I just, I, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Well, they squeeze an IP. Yeah, the cars sure. yeah. yeah, I don't. Uh, cars just seems to be like an overused IP to me. Like, it just. I'm so oh, glad. but it brings in the money. Yeah, of yeah. course they're well, going to use safe it. safe and we can make it really quick with everything going on. Mm. But the landscape will be very cool and it will be very Western. Sure. The landscape. Sure. It will be off-roading like a Chevy commercial. Can wear chaps. It just comes across as though they've turned <laughs> Frontierland into like a rural fantasy land. It's like Frontierland is now fantasy yeah. land. Like country a version. Like yeah. Country version. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you got medieval, medieval fast land over here. Fair. <laughs> and you got country fast land right here. Yeah. Country I guess, like, land. do we hate that, though? Like, I, I listen, I, I don't like the frontier land excuse, but I also think, like, if the theme of Magic Kingdom is these are various lands, but fantasy versions of them. So, like, Tomorrowland isn't really space, it's a fantasy version of it. Main Street USA isn't really a town. It's a fantasy version of it. Like, I do kind of like that idea that, like, all of these spaces are different themed fantasy versions of life. I'm okay with that. I can see that to an extent. I guess another problem I guess I have with that, though, is that, okay, so we have another racing attraction. I mean, isn't Tomorrowland Speedway right up the way? It's not fast enough. (laughs) You know, 